the last session we discussed about what is distribution system how what are the different definitions we used in different distribution systems all we discussed in the previous session let us discuss now as i already told you electrical power distribution system is the part of power system which is exist between distribution substation to the consumers for local use how the power is transmitted that is electrical distribution system here we are showing that the distribution system for different consumers for industries directly we can send a feeder for a local or towns and cities uh, different feeders we are sending based on that the distribution system may be classified for every distribution system a distribution substation is required you can see in the diagram ds stands for distribution substation the distribution substation from the distribution substation a feeder sends the power to a distributor what is a feeder a feeder is a conductor which distributes electric power directly to the distributor without any tappings the feeder feeder e vidhanga undundandi tappings undo feeder lo distribution transformer varaku continue ga direct ga velthuntadi aa tarvata tappings distributor lo untayi ante feeder e vidhanga design chestaru ante current carrying capacity is the main consideration current carrying capacity will be major consideration for to design a feeder whereas distributor it is voltage is the for every house they required constant voltage what are the requirements for a good distribution system will be discussed later distributor having number of tappings a distributor is a conductor which taps electrical energy for uh, different consumers therefore the voltage is the main consideration for a distributor from the distributor all the service mains or service lines will be taken for different homes for utilization of electrical energy requirements of a good distribution system the good distribution system must have so many requirements first one is continuity of power supply uh, that means continuity of power supply means it is more reliable giving the continuous power for consumers it is very important for any good distribution system continuity in the power supply must be required for a good distribution system as for uh, voltage must not vary more than prescribed limits plus or minus 5% present it is plus or minus 6% variations are allowable ante voltage constant ga ivvali endukante starting oka veedi lo oka starting oka house ki వీధిలో చివరి ఉండే హౌస్కి ఒక డిస్ట్రిబ్యూటర్ వెళ్తుంటే కాన్స్టాంట్ వోల్టేజ్ ఉండాలి వీధి చివరి ఉండే హౌస్ వోల్టేజ్ ఫ్లక్చుయేషన్స్ వచ్చి ఎక్విప్మెంట్స్ అంతా డ్యామేజ్ అవుతుంటే దట్ ఈస్ నాట్ ఏ గుడ్ డిస్ట్రిబ్యూషన్ సిస్టమ్ దేర్ ఫోర్ వోల్టేజ్ షుడ్ బీ కాన్స్టాంట్ అమాంగ్ ఆల్ కన్జ్యూమర్స్ దట్ ఈస్ ద మెయిన్ రిక్వైర్మెంట్ ఆల్ ద ఎక్విప్మెంట్స్ వాట్ వీ హ్యావ్ ఇన్ అవర్ హోమ్స్ ఆల్సో ప్లస్ ఆర్ మైనస్ ఫైవ్ పర్సెంట్ వేరియేషన్స్ అలోబుల్ ద డిజైనింగ్ ఇట్ సెల్ఫ్ while designing a instrument or apparatus which we are using in homes their allowable voltage variations are plus or minus 5% suppose if 230 volts is the rated voltage that is 216 volts 242 volts also allowed plus 5% or 6% is 242 around range will come if it is 216 also allowable efficiency of line must be high as possible safe from consumer point of view every distribution system mana intiki vache power gazi busy ga untayine em avutadi evarka teliyaka konni anukoni pramadalu jarugutunte ante oka distribution system chuddaniki clear ga undali everyone should understand it should not be gazi busy ga lekunte evariki artham gaani vidhanga ante oka person ఎలక్ట్రీషియన్ కానీ వైర్మెన్ కానీ ఎంటర్ అయ్యి ఇంకో వైర్మెన్ అనుకోని పరిస్థితులు ఎంటర్ అవ్వాలంటే అతనికి ఈజీగా అర్థమయ్యే విధంగా ఉండాలి అంటే సేఫ్ పాయింట్ సేఫ్ 
requirement will be important for a good distribution system. Man integ good a wiring just connect a budo clear ga wiring unte na manak easy garth mo to the yes which then ki ani manak wo ka identification unte na ante wo gas busy ga onna ano kono switch lo manam ay okosar misunderstand just connect si manak wo problem so chat chance unde layout should not affect the appearance of the locality line should not be overloaded these are the good distribution system are not only this proper voltage and reliability. Proper voltage. Distribution systems are mainly classified into primary and secondary two types of uh, distribution systems. Primary distribution and secondary distribution system. Primary distribution is the part of electric supply system exist between distribution substation and the distribution transformer is called primary distribution system. From the substation and you work street end one transformer is there that is distribution transformer up to that part it will be considered as primary distribution the voltage levels will be high rather than in house house 230 volts or 440 volts it is more than 11 kv will be the normal voltage primary distribution primary distribution and day mana substation on distribution substation if you consider any area one distribution substation is there Akanunchi mana vidi chivaragani mana village low on day transformer or coche supply system ni primary distribution under a voltage level ekun to the eleven kv on to the mana vidi low chivar on day transformer like over the village low on day transformer gani a eleven kv ni four thirty volts ka convert chassis single phase three phase systems ki mana use just kundo and a Akanunchi secondary distribution system start out on the primary distribution system and a substation nunchi. Mana V the Chivara one day transformer work system ni primary distribution system under. In the secondary distribution system, a transformer on chimana houses cave the Gosuno are the secondary distribution. The secondary distribution system receives the power from the secondary side of distribution transformer at low voltage and supplies power to various connected loads via service lines or service mains. A distribution transformer mana vidi chivar on to nigga akadanunchi mana intiko cheta budu a service wire evidanga ostundo adi anta man inclo meter energy meter varaku secondary distribution system can osundi normal secondary distribution system voltage levels are 440 volts 230 volts man integrate 230 volts waka phase waka neutral mathrama this kunto adi kuni vidulo china china pin dimensions gani lag bote than a important uh, small scale industries unte akkada three phase supply system is thuntaru that is also comes under secondary distribution system this is the main classification of distribution system there are two types mainly according to the nature of supply dc distribution system and ac distribution system the dc distribution system you know that dc three way system dc general distribution system DC two wire system also there, but it is not represented in this PPT. DC two wire system. If you go for traction, only single wire DC single wire will be there. Plus only the track maybe itself acts as a another negative distribution system AC. AC distribution system classified into radial and loop and ring main distribution systems three types of distribution systems mainly it is classified distribution system consists already we explained that generally feeder distributor service mains are three main parts of a general distribution system what is a feeder what is a distributor what is service main a feeder are the conductors which are used to feed the electrical power from the generating station to the substation or from substation to the distribution transformer it is a feeder feeders are generally used to transfer the power from substation to distribution transformer in case of generation tension also the feeders are using distributors distributors are used to distribute the supply further from the substation service mains are these are the small cables which are two core cable service mains are con connected to the distributor so as to make the supply available for the consumer simplest to two wire distribution system man service cable or choose inter meru already work man service man into coach wire two core three core two core cable will come 
త్రీ కోర్ ఎందుకు రాదంటే మన ఎర్త్ మన ఇంటి పక్కనే లేకపోతే మనమే ప్రొవైడ్ చేసుకోవాలి ఎర్థింగ్ ఎర్థింగ్ డైరెక్ట్గా మనకు త్రీ కోర్ కేబుల్ ద్వారా రాదు అందుకే సర్వీస్ వైర్ ఎప్పుడు టూ వైరే ఉంటుంది దట్ మీన్స్ టూ కోర్ కేబుల్ ఫేజ్ న్యూట్రల్ మాత్రమే వస్తూ ఉంటాయి ఇక్కడ జనరల్ డీసీ డిస్ట్రిబ్యూషన్ సిస్టమ్ దిస్ ఈజ్ అ దీ డీసీ త్రీ వైర్ సిస్టమ్ ద డీసీ త్రీ వైర్ సిస్టమ్ యాజ్ షోన్ ఇన్ ఫిగర్ టూ జనరేటర్స్ డీసీ జనరేటర్స్ ఆర్ కనెక్టెడ్ ఇన్ సిరీస్ అండ్ గివింగ్ ద త్రీ వైర్ సిస్టమ్ లైట్ లోడ్ కన్జ్యూమర్ వన్ డీసీ మోటార్ హెవీ లోడెడ్ కన్జ్యూమర్ టూ డొమెస్టిక్ లోడ్ కన్జ్యూమర్ త్రీ త్రీ వైర్ డీసీ సిస్టమ్ త్రీ వైర్ డీసీ సిస్టమ్ విత్ బ్యాలెన్స్డ్ లోడ్స్ ఆల్సో ద డయాగ్రామ్ రిప్రజెంట్స్ వాట్ ఈస్ బ్యాలెన్స్డ్ లోడ్ వాట్ ఈస్ అన్బ్యాలెన్స్డ్ లోడ్ దట్ మీన్స్ అవుట్ ఆఫ్ బ్యాలెన్స్ కరెంట్ వన్ లైన్ క్యారీస్ ఐ వన్ వైల్ అదర్ క్లైన్ క్యారీస్ ఐ టూ వెన్ ద లోడ్ ఈస్ బ్యాలెన్స్డ్ the loads connected on either sides of neutral wire are equal then it is the neutral current is zero that is balance load ikkada balance load ante all phases carries the equal currents then the neutral current will be zero you can see in the diagram i1 is the current entering in one line i2 is the another phase or i another line then neutral in the neutral the current will be zero i1 minus i2 it will be zero that is balance load if i1 is greater than i2 then neutral wire where is the some current that is i1 minus i2 unbalanced load condition lo neutral lo current both untadi ee neutral lo current poye situations ekkada untay ante okkokka street ki okkokka phase elta untundi ante okkokka street lo ekku current ekku load vaadochu inkokka street lo takku load vaadochu appude em avutadi ante distribution transformer unbalanced avutu untadi appudu neutral lo kuda current pass avutu untundi you can see in the diagram out of balance current or uh, unbalanced load unbalanced condition i1 minus i2 is the current flowing through the neutral the distribution systems are classified into three main categories or three types radial distribution system ring main distribution system and interconnected distribution system see one by one how these distribution systems will be carried out what are the advantages of uh, different distribution systems that is radial ring and loop consider first radial distribution system in radial distribution system the feeders are radiated outwards from the substation and power can flow in one direction only you can see from the substation a feeder a is radiated and service mains are connected to like that if any fault occur in a feeder total entire service area will be disturbed the fault occurrence either on feeder or a distributor all the consumers connected to the distributor will get affected ee radial feeder lo disadvantage idi advantages unnai simple and easy and easily connect radial distribution system but only one single path is there between substation to distributor therefore it is a drawback ikkadanna fault ochind anukondi feeder lo gaani distributor lo gaani service mains lo gaani ikkadanna fault vaste all the consumers connected to that distributor will get affected konni itla ante distribution systems ekku villages lo vaartuntaru endukante villages lo anta important power consumption or important factors undo kabatti ee radial distribution systems vaartundra in india 99% of distribution of electric power by radial distribution system only according to previous present towns and cities they are loop they are forming if any fault occur in one area from other end they will give the supply within 10 minutes or 20 minutes of an hour this is the radial distribution system the disadvantages of radial distribution systems are the quantity the continuity of power supply cannot be maintained power supply continuity will not be maintained at receiving end in the event of fault occurrence power can flow in only one direction therefore it is a drawback of that one ring main distribution system when two or more substations
we can connect this two or more mayor two more two or more substations also when two or more substations are interconnected by alternate roads thus forming a closed ring called ring a b c d e in this diagram the feeder covers whole area of the supply in the ring fashion and finally terminates at the substation from where it is started it is a, it seems to be a closed ring ee ring main distribution system valla advantage entante power ekkadanna fault vachind anko suppose bc madhe fault vachina aa distributor lo any service mains lo gaani distributor lo gaani edana fault vaste aa distribution ante disconnect chesi power can fed from another direction closed loop form and looks like a ring therefore it is known as a ring main distribution system in case of damage to any section of the ring the section will be disconnected for the repairs and power will be supplied from other end thereby maintaining continuity of power supply the drawback of radial distribution system will be overcome by using ring main distribution system the advantage and disadvantage of uh, ring main system is less conductor material is required as each part of the ring carries less current than in radial distribution system in radial distribution system the conductor size will be starting will be more and end will be less because the total current entering at the starting will be more all the loads are connected at the starting the current will be more but the end it will be less but in case of ring the current will be very small current will be small total entire ring it is forms a loop hence less voltage fluctuations also will be there in a ring main system disadvantage is one of the difficult to design when compared to designing of radial distribution system